Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you a video of the best collections to do uh, depending on the amount of pucks you have. So, uh, first of all, I want to show you a small little team update of all the players I pulled from free packs. You can see it. I've already done every single collection uh, other than Pittsburgh. Uh, just because I haven't been able to get Crosby and uh, Malkin. But every single collection is done and I want to quickly show you what type of players I have in my uh, team right now. It's actually pretty crazy. Uh, but you can choose to do collections or not, but uh, I think it's a great way to get good players. I'm going to show you the team right now. You can kind of see a small sneak peek, but uh, pretty good players overall. Tons of 90 plus players. It's definitely worth doing. I know some people think that the packs are nerfed or whatever it is, but look at this. All right, so first line, Claude Giroux, uh, John Tavares, Corey Perry. That is a very sick first line. All right, so second line, Marion Hossa, Ryan Kessler, Milan Lucic. Then we got Pavelski, JVR, and Burns. And then fourth line, Gabrick, Eric Stull, and Vanek. And these guys are all, like, they're all free pack guys. Like, I, I'm i not sure you can quick sell them, but they're all, like, zero puck quick sells. But defense here, we got Eric Carlson, Jack Johnson, and Braden Holby, also a free pack guy. Uh, we got Jay Bomeister, Slava Voinov, Ryan McDonough, and Mark, Ed, Mark Andre Vlasic. Sorry. So those are all the guys from my free pack. So... You can say that they're not worth it or whatever it is, but I think it is. In the long run, if you open up every single pack, uh, you will get good players. I mean, I opened up a pack, I, can, I think a couple days ago, on October the 2nd. I still got a Corey Perry and a John Tavares from pack. So, you can say they're nerfed or whatever, but I'm going to quickly show you collections right now that are under 75k. And then I'll show you collections that are under uh, 200k. So, if you have that, that amount of coins... Uh, here are the first ones. So if you have 75,000, usually these collections are under 75,000. I'm going to quickly show you uh, what collections you should do. Uh, also, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to post in the description uh, the best collections to do. I'm also going to post NHLguides.net, the, the link to their website. It helps you do your collections really, really fast. And uh, you want to click that link so you want to be able to get those players that you want uh, to complete the collection. So... First one, under 75k, Arizona Coyotes, the cheapest guys, or the most expensive guys are Yandel, Ekman, Larson, and Smith, all under like 10, 15k, alright, it's pretty cheap. And then next up, we have Buffalo Sabres, most expensive guys, Myers and Molson, you get 5 gold packs, you also get 4 from Arizona Coyotes. Next up, we got Calgary Flames, 5 gold packs, and uh, the most expensive guy is Hiller, Jonas Hiller, he's a 2-3k to 3K player. It's absolutely insane. Then we got Carolina Hurricanes. You get seven packs. Uh, the most expensive one are the Stahl Brothers. Very cheap these days. Uh, each one, it's like, I think, five or 10K. Uh, the Eric Stahl is around 15, 20K. Then there's also Skinner and Cam Ward. Not too expensive. Also under 75K. You get seven gold packs for that one, which is pretty insane. Next up would be uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Most expensive guys, once again, um, uh, Johansson. Jack Johnson, and Sergei Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky is your most expensive one, 30k, but you get 7 gold packs from this collection. Next up is the Florida Panthers. 3 gold packs, you can say it's not worth it, but all you need is Luongo, so it's not too bad. Uh, next up is the New Jersey Devils, 6 gold packs, and the most expensive player is Schneider, uh, not too bad as well. And we also got uh, the Vancouver Canucks, you might be thinking, how is Vancouver Canucks such a cheap collection to do, but when you really think about it, it's just Miller, and the Sedin sisters, right? Eight gold packs under 75k for sure. Uh, Vancouver is a pretty good one for eight gold packs. Then we got the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, most expensive guys, Bufflin and Evander Kane. Uh, you might want to do this as well. Uh, it's under it's under 75k once again. But those are all the collections worth under 75k, maybe even under 50k. So let's move on to the medium collections. Alright, so these are the medium end collections, one that are under 200k if you have more coins and you already did the smaller end collections, these ones are right for you. So uh, first off, we got Dallas Stars, under 200k, you got Ben, Sagan, Lennon, and Spezza, actually not too expensive this year, I mean Ben has really dropped in price in terms of Xbox One market, uh, he's like 70k right now, I mean I guess for the other markets he's only like under 100k so far, but Dallas Stars uh, is a good one to do. Then you also got New York Islanders, uh, also a very good one to do. The most expensive guy is Tavares, so 
Uh, I mean, he's usually 115 to 120k uh, on Xbox One on October 4th. But I mean, like, I think his price will just keep dropping uh, from there. Then we got Ottawa's, Ottawa Senators, most expensive guys, Carlson and Bobby Ryan. Under usually 100k uh, to complete this collection, but uh, I threw it the, under the medium collections anyways. Then we got Philadelphia uh, for Claude Giroux. Uh, seven gold packs, uh, pretty easy collection to do. San Jose, you get 10 gold packs, probably the, one of the most that you get for pretty cheap. I mean, uh, it might seem hard, but it's only just 4 to 5, 20 to 30k players. So it's like, you can just buy them and then sell them and then you're good to go. Uh, like people like Joe Thornton, Marlowe, uh, Burns, all like 15 to 20k players. Then we got St. Louis, most expensive guys, this one's a little bit more, but uh, we got Petra Angelo, Bo Meester, Shattenkirk, Oshie, Steen, and Bacchus. Not too bad to do, it's under 200k as well. And last but not least, the Toronto Maple Leafs, 10 gold packs, uh, and usually Phil Castle's around 120 to 130k, at least on Xbox One so far. But anyways, that's just about it for all the collections. Feel free to download that uh, notepad document in the description for the best collections to do. Uh, I will also post the link to NHLGuys.net. It's a checklist uh, to do all your collections, so you definitely want to check that out. Also, don't be afraid to post in the comments uh, to trade each other. I mean... Uh, I know you guys are scared of scams, but you want to get a collateral. What a collateral is, you basically ask a player or ask a person for a one-for-one -one trade uh, to do a collection. So say you really, really need a Dustin Bufflin to complete your collection, and someone already has the Vancouver collection done, you guys could trade maybe a Bufflin for like uh, the two Sedine sisters, something like that. And you guys can do the collateral trade first, and then you can do the rest of the collection. So, so, so it's not ex as expensive, but... That's just about it. You guys can talk to each other in the comment box below. Uh, make sure that you have a collateral, something that's one for one trade so you guys don't get scammed, right? But that's just about it. Uh, just be smart about it, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully, your pack look is good as well. Uh, like, it has been good to me. Uh, but, anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Celebrating after the